started running in 2010. A coworker had asked me, you know, you want to run a half marathon for charity? I said, sure, why not? Ran it, placed top 10. I said, okay. Didn't think I was going to do that well. And that's when I started running, started chasing some standards, uh, breaking records for Thailand. Standards would be, you know, running for like the world championships. So I qualify for worlds. Uh, for the first time this past year, 2015. So there's a standard, there's a time you have to hit. So the time for that one was um, 2.43. So I hit that standard so I can, it qualifies you to run in a world championship meet. I think my mom and dad have been really excited and you know, at some points they're like, okay, you could stop the athletics, you know, work and have a career, but they've realized that, you know, I'm an athlete, I always will be an athlete, and I love, you know, my profession. Last year really finally kind of like, okay, she's doing this running thing, she's at a level where she's like going to the Olympics and she's going to represent our country. They followed me everywhere last year, they came to Singapore for the Southeast Asian Games, so they've really been amazing. My dream when I was young was to make a national team to represent the, you know, a country. And now being able to do that, you know, you think about when I was that young working and hoping that you'd, you'd get to your goal and I'm finally here. So I still haven't taken that in as much, but I definitely know, you know, I'm really excited. I'm going to take the most opportunity as I can um, and, you know, represent the country well in the Olympics as well as make a statement, you know, in Thailand, you know, it's still still where women aren't treated equally as men in sport. You know, they're not supported as much. So trying to be that voice in Thailand as well and also getting support as for the, for the sport of running, you know, running is still not televised as much. You know, it just has been taken off this year. Um, ABC just covered you know, um, the New York City half this year, but it's very hard to get uh, big broadcasting networks to cover a running sport over, you know, basketball or soccer. So really trying to give, give more coverage to runners because they work as hard as any other athlete. You know, opening day, I think I'm just going to enjoy it because it's, you know, the opening ceremony, doing the walk but how I'm gonna feel in the start line and warming up. I try to look up pictures of what it's like uh, to be in the Olympics. Um, I try to see if I can get like the experience by watching some interviews. And then what I can control, so I you know, try to imagine what the course is gonna be like. Um, try to mimic anything that, that may happen during the marathon. There's nothing like the Olympics. Yes, I'm gonna be competitive, but I think the, what I'm gonna go into it is also like enjoy the moment while I'm, I'm running.